O'Shea and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. You know, it's legendary Big Yaya, you with me? You and LB's finest. And I'm ducked off cooling with my boy O'Shea on Nation of Vacation, you know with me? Well, last time we talked... You told me about Master P was being interested in buying UNLV and BG. Now I gotta ask you this. So I, I know uh, you know he was interested. Would you guys have been interested in going? At that time, you fucking right. That was our first like fallout with with, with Cash Money as a like. I mean, it wasn't a fallout, but it was a first our first disagreement with him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we would we would have went, no doubt. We would have went, but right now I'm glad. You know, I'm glad we didn't go after seeing how everything went or whatever. Through. I'm glad we we didn't go because it wasn't our time to go. Right. You know what I'm saying? To be on that level, period. You know that's why I mean nothing that not no bad business with people. I never dealt business with them or nothing like that. You know what I mean? But for as I, I feel like time is everything. Then we was mad because he didn't let us go. But I don't think, you know, that shit lasted maybe like two years. We're like, man, we, we glad we didn't go. You know what I'm saying? Right. They had their deal already, and we was where well, we was at real, real comfortable. So we were like, man, I'm glad we did make that decision for us. You know what I'm saying? Well, okay, so so let's say, let's say you guys did go. Let's say, you know, let's just hypothetically say you guys did go what do you think the outcome would have been because personally this is just me personally i think you guys fit with no limit a whole lot like i feel like you guys style you guys sound rapping over over klc i mean i i like i just i can hear that i i, I can see where that would would fit so chat me up how you think it would have went down i'm gonna tell you like this and not being cocky about it but being super confident about it we definitely would have been in the top three sellers on that fucking label, if not number one. They wasn't fucking with the U, man. You crazy, man. And KL, like you said, KL, KL is like a fresh. Yeah. So, I mean, come on, dog. We we made our own music and concepts and hooks. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have a, we didn't have nobody like telling us, man, y'all need to rap about this. You know, that's us, bro. You feel me? Right. That's us. Every time we got in the studio with, 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 with Cash Money or whoever, you know what I'm saying? We coming to the table with us. Right. They don't have to say, look, dog, y'all need to do this. Y'all need to, nah, dog. So, and with KL, like a manual, I, I can't see nothing, but we would have had the same type of success. We would have been great. Yeah, because I'm just sitting here, like, when I, when I was thinking some of these questions, I was just sitting here thinking it like that. You know that uh, uh, the fuck them other niggas beat. You know that like I, I was just sitting there thinking I was like, man, you and LV would damn near destroy this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like just like man, we actually work with KL too. So, I, mean, <laughs> I know the feeling with that dude. I mean, man, we work with KL. We got like three joints with Six Shot with mm -hmm. KL dog. Like, with, with KL producing them. When I tell you those songs serious. Huh? Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, because KLC, KLC and he's one of those producers. I feel like I know when we did the uh, the Cash Money First Class thing, we all talked about Manny Fresh, you know, being one of the best producers, and him not even really getting his flowers. And I, I feel like KLC, if he wasn't number one, or I mean, he's he, it's between him and, and and Manny Fresh as being the best producers out of out of New Orleans, especially at that time. Just, I mean, it, I mean, there just was nobody better, and I feel like he doesn't get the flowers or or the talk that he he should get. Well, I got one more. I can't let you. I can't let you forget about one move, man. You ain't never heard of precise. Yeah, I heard of precise. Okay, well, you can't let you can't never. Whenever you mention fresh, you gotta mention KL and precise. Okay. Ain't, ain't, ain't no nobody else on that level for his three headed giant. You know what I mean? They. they the dudes, them dudes. Right.